and both teams take the field. LSU to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. For Alabama, is there anything we should be keeping an eye on? One thing they really like to do is run out of a spread so the defensive fronts get thinned out. But you got to respect the pass because they're more than willing to air it out. Tackled after a decent pickup. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. They give to the tailback. He gets to about the 41-yard line. And this one's broken up. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Looks to pass. He's into the open field. Slides down to the ground. Runs it right. Nice pickup. He's hit and taken down. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Slings it out there incomplete. Here's a handoff left side. He gets out to about the six yard line. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. Complete. He's taken down. He drops back. He's pushed out of bounds. So the kicker will try to put this through from about 41 yards away. He gets it up. And he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. Our score after the field goal. LSU, three, Alabama, nothing. Rose. And they tackle him at the 43. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Pretty good gain. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. Drops back to pass. No catch. He's out of bounds. Brought down in the open field. Going deep on the left side. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. They'll make the sack. They'll throw on first down. Oh, and he can't hold on. And he's tackled at the 46. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. They'll throw on first down. Throws middle. Here's the tight end. Touchdown. So they call a tight end's number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Alabama 7, LSU 3. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. He'll return it from the six. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. 
Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Across midfield. And he's tackled at the 20. That gives him 100 yards in the game. This guy is capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Back to pass. Got a receiver and he dropped it. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day and they are not pleasant. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The kick is up. And he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. The score now, Alabama 7, LSU 6. They come out on an empty backfield. Knocked down, incomplete. He's looking to pass. And he is drilled at the 37-yard line. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. And that'll be three and out. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes his way to about the 42. Once and all. To the 20. And he's tackled at the 14. They come out in a five-wide set. He drops back. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looks to pass. Caught end zone for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And they won't get the two. A seven-play, 64-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. So the score now, 12-7. Here's the run. Got a hole. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. He passes it. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Nowhere to go on the delay. Throws for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. I think because he knew a touchdown would give his team the lead, the quarterback is forcing some of these throws, and on that pick, it finally caught up to him. 